Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Yes, I know, like I mentioned last week, I'm not the best at putting videos up right now, but I promise you there are more to come, so just stay tuned. But I thought I'd ease myself back in to booktube today with an if you like this, then you'll like this video. Now the whole idea about this series is I recommend you a book by comparing it to a more popular novel which you might already recognise. In that way, you'll be able to get the feel and atmosphere of a book and it might be something up your street. So I'm going to crack on, but before I crack on, something I'm going to do at the beginning of every single video is talk to you about the book I'm currently reading um, and it'll be a quick little insert so let's get jiggy with it. So I am currently reading The Elstones of Shannara by Terry Brooks. I am on page 176 and I'm actually listening to the audiobook as well as reading it so I'm having a bit of a mixture and that is because I'm going on quite a long drive tomorrow in total about five hours so that means I can get five hours of the audiobook done. So yes this is what I'm currently reading. It is an adult fantasy and it is also an epic fantasy and it's about elves and gnomes and demons and all the good stuff set in a futuristic world after a great devastation of our actual world here. But anyway, I recommend it for anyone who likes good old fantasy. Check it out. So let's get on with the video. I'm going to start off with a horror. I'm going to start off with a horror because horror season is coming, guys. We're basically in autumn. In England, it's freezing. Like, I'm not going to, don't get me wrong. I say we're in autumn. I have no idea. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to recommend to you an, a horror. So there is a book coming out called There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. This is the proof edition and if you want to look at the final cover it is magically appearing on the screen right in front of you. Thumbs up for the incredible editing software. And I this is a uh, kind of Scream Queens meet Slash story. It's one of those really kind of like I get a very 90s horror comedy from this story. Now the book I'm going to be comparing it to is The Ultimate Sacrifice by S.E. Green which is coming out October 9th. Now this is like this one completely different in the sense that this one is not funny. This one is, is scary. It's a scary book. It is about a girl and her family finding a child ritualistically killed in their back garden and they kind of have the national spotlight on them because of this murder and people kind of are questioning if they've done them. So she has to prove that it was not her by delving deep into the life of the, the dead girl and trying to figure out the mystery that surrounds the death. This has a supernatural twist. So if you like supernatural books, you should check this out. It almost reminds you of an episode of, of Supernatural, the TV show. But yes, you should definitely check this one out. It's up for order now and it is incredible. Two authors have blurbed it, so I recommend. And yes, There's Someone Inside Your House is also coming out soon, October 5th, four days for this one, so just check them out both, I suppose. But if you like that horror-esque vibe where this one is a bit more scarier than this funny one, then check these out. Get, do you get me? Next, we're going to be talking about Red Queen. Now, everybody knows Red Queen. If you don't, well, then if you, you should check it out if you want to. Now, this is a dystopian fantasy. It's a futuristic sci-fi with people with powers, depending on the different blood types. And I am going to be comparing it to Frostblood by Ellie Blake. Now, again, these are two different genres, don't get me wrong. This one is fantasy and this is dystopian. But the element of somebody being able to control an element and also the coloured blood and also this idea of an arena that I'm comparing the both. So in Frostblood, which is the one which I'm comparing, is basically about a girl who is a fireblood in, in a world where firebloods are basically killed and is a ruled by a very tyrant Frostblood king. Now Frostbloods have blue blood and firebloods have red blood and fireblood means you control fire and Frostblood means you control frost. So it's about a girl getting caught up with some court intrigue and actually, well, a lot of stuff happens. But this is enriched with mythology and also the idea which I just mentioned about the whole arena part. There's this whole arena section in the Frostblood where she has to go and fight for the Frostblood King. Although he doesn't think she's going to win, she does. And it reminds me of Red Queen because there's arenas in the Red Queen as well where people have fight their positions. So yeah, if you like either one of these, check the other one out. If you've read them both, let me know if you get my comparison. And if you haven't read them both, check them out. They might be something up your street. They might be. Next, I'm going to be recommending a dystopian, a dystopian, Dystopian, D, 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 Divergent. <laughs> so Divergent is one of the most loved di dystopian trilogies out there. In fact, it was one of the last ones that came out, majorly published. Um, and I've got some exciting news to tell you that Dystopian, the genre, is not dead, guys. It is not dead. And there is a story which is being compared to Divergent meets The Giver meets Mad Max. And that is New World Rising by Jennifer Wilson. Now, a lot of you may have seen this book before. It was in an owl crate, which was very exciting. And it is a dystopian story about an orphan who watches her mother and father be killed and she lives in a place called Tartarus which is a sectioned off piece of land in this futuristic America and it is run by different tribes and the tribe's mottos are simply join or die and she basically wants to survive as a lone wolf. She doesn't want to join a tribe because it's just full full of murder, betrayal and death. Now her one main thing is to escape Tartarus and to go into the new world and that is what the story follows is her attempt to escape Tartarus. Now if you like the fast pace of Divergent, if you like the idea that there's different tribes, like there is different factions and if you like the idea of a girl joining 
joining forces with a small group of misfits to try and leave a section of piece of land, then you will love New World Rising. I highly recommend it. It has over a thousand reviews for an indie book published on Goodreads, so you should definitely check this out. It is very, very good. I promise you. And last but not least, we are talking about Truth Bud. Too blood. Too blood. Truth Witch by Susan Denard. Now, Truth Witch is about a world where people are witches and they are witches of a certain thing, whether that be a fire witch, a truth witch, a red witch, and I'm comparing it to Air Awakens by Elise Cover. Now, Air Awakens by Elise Cover is a high fantasy set in this wonderfully rich world. And I, to be honest, a lot of you may have already read this because it is very popular, but this is about a girl who can control air and she is basically one of the last to control air. And she must join with a prince and his brother to kind of sort out the kingdom. And it is filled with intrigue, romance and action. And it is actually one of a really, really amazing series. I've read the entire series except for the novellas, but there is five books in the series and novellas, which are three books in a novella. And I believe she's writing more. So you just need to get into the series. It's so rich. It's so detailed. It's so deep with information and knowledge. It's just so exciting. So, 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 so. And yes, of course, Truth Witch, I'm comparing them both because of this idea of controlling elements, set in a kingdom. I love this one. Actually, Truth Witch was, I, I mean, I didn't really like Truth Witch that much, but this one I loved. So there you have it, guys. They're all the books I'm recommending in this. If you like this, then you'll like this segment. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this a thumbs up. That's the best way of me knowing if you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to comment down below if you've read any of the books I've mentioned or would like to read any of the books that I've mentioned. And definitely subscribe if you're new. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you again for another video very, very soon. Don't forget to follow me on social media. Bye-bye.